dear student today we will start a new chapter chapter number is 9 and name of the chapter is soil so if we want to give some introduction first of all for this chapter soil nothing to say about that but you know what is soil so i will give something on that first of all you know we have to discuss about the importance of the soil in our life so if we just discuss about the importance of the soil then we will read this chapter then we will get some fun we will get some ideas we will get some points why we will read this chapter you know we all depends on actually human and animals depends on plants and of course plant grows on soil whatever may be different soil but soil is needed without soil generally plants will not grow that's why soil is needed and also we know so many organisms they live actually this soil are the homeland of so many organisms like rodents rabbit centipedes and so many billions of bacteria some of them are very useful very beneficial for our ecosystem soil is the backbone of our food security soil store water without any manure without any nutrients without any water the plants will not grow and they will collect all these necessary things from soil so soil is needed and of course one sentence is there to live life food is necessary clothes is necessary and shelter is also necessary so all these things we can get from trees and which solely depends on soil and finally medicines so many medicines herbs from we get medicines and which will treat our ailment so now we'll start the chapter from this point so first of all uh, we'll start reading the introduction what is written in this book is soil all is one of the most important natural resources it provides anchorage to the plants and supplies water and nutrients it is the home for many organisms soil is essential for agriculture agriculture provides food clothing and shelter for all soil is thus an inseparable part of our life the earthy fragrance of soil after the first rain is always refreshing of course this is very refreshing and it is a inseparable part in our life that is soil so we have to study the soil minutely and sincerely so first of all first sub topic soil teeming with life and the, what is the meaning of teeming teeming means it is filled with or full of one day during the rainy season pahli and bujo observed an earthworm coming out from the soil pahli wondered whether there were other organisms also in the soil let us find out of course so many organisms billions of bacteria actually soil is a homeland of so many bacteria organisms and so many animals also so now activity 9.1 collect some soil sample and observe them carefully you can use a hand lens probably it will be a convex lens examine each sample carefully and fill in the table 9.1 this is the table 9.1 discuss your observation with your friends are the soil samples collected by your friends similar to the ones collected by you of course it will be no answer will be no because different type of characteristics difference of the soil will be there bujo and pali have used soil in many ways they enjoy playing with it of course it is very fun in our childhood we have done also remember that days it is a great fun indeed make a list of the uses of the soil next we will do that now focus on the table 9.1 and it is serial number 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 are given soil source are given 4 5 is given to you you have to fill it up and you know soil sources so many sources uh, we have to fill it up for the plant what type of plant parts are available in the soil sources in the garden soil animal parts are available and any other observations if you found any other type of things 
except plants and animals you have to record here so first of all garden soil one thing is given here grass and of course the next will be the roots the fallen leaves and weeds also and for the animals ant is a very common one so ant will be there earthworms will be there termites and beetles ladybug so many things and any other observations you can write here uh, gravel concrete parts of brick it is found in the garden soil now two soil from the road side from the road side we can get uh, here uh, the plant parts will be the dry roots or dry fallen leaves for the animal part will be ants and termites are very common it these are available road side also any other observations you can find here concrete plastic carry bag and broken glasses and of course the iron nails it is also available here number 3 soil from the area where construction is going on you can hardly find any plant here so no plant write down here no plant and animals you can write here ant and of course any other observations so here this uh, the information will be bigger here gravel plastic particles polythene bags sand stone and its broken brick parts these are available and number 4 this one it will be soil from agriculture land soil from agriculture land so what are the plant parts are available here so grass roots and plant roots fallen leaves these are available here animals will be here earthworm millipedes centipedes fungi and bacteria and any other observations here concrete glass materials and manure probably it will be cow dung number 5 soil from river side plant parts will be dry grasses hay and humus animal parts will be millipedes centipedes and lichens other observations here it will be glass particles concrete plastic articles and polythene bags so you know polythene bags is very common uh, any other observation you can write here plastic polythene so these are the concern of our life now so you can write here plastic so what is written here we'll just once read aloud I wonder why I found some pieces of plastic articles and polythene bags in the soil sample collected from the roadside and the garden. Okay, I have told you it is a common thing which can be found from any type of soil sources. So it is our concerns also. Now this box we have to read. Polythene bags and plastics pollute the soil. they also kill the organisms living in the soil that is why there is a demand to ban the polythene bags and plastics other substances which pollute the soil are a number of waste products chemicals and pesticides waste products and chemicals should be treated before they are released into the soil the use of pesticides should be minimized so it is written that Um, some uh, substances will harm our soil, and we should not throw polythene here and there. We'll just dump it in a particular container. So polythene are very essential in our life, but we have to dump it very carefully. Otherwise, it will just pollute our nature. And very organized treatment we have to do. Other substances which pollute. in soil are the number of waste products chemicals and pesticides of course the main thing is the pesticides it is just mixing with the soil and find uh, and finally washed out in our soil and finally mixes with the water 
waste products and chemicals should be treated uh, garbages the products which are coming finally from the factories it must be treated when before it mixed with the soil otherwise it will be it will pollute our nature thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe my channel for next such type of videos thank you